Welcome back trainers and I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. We're going to be taking a look at just some incredible battles here. So we're going to be continuing to use the Galarian Rapid Ash. I told you, if I wasn't impressed with this thing, I obviously would just stop using it. There's a very fine line between something that's pretty good but hard to use and something that's decent and just you're better off just not using it. This thing, I, I just have a lot of faith in it and you're going to see here how it just simply works so well in the Ultra Premiere. Galarian Rapid Ash, Psychic and Fairy, let's get it. So we are going to be going with the Body Slam and Psychic move set, as well as the Psycho Cut as you can see all the moves and IVs on the side here. And for this video, we're teaming it up with Typhlosion, as you know, one of my favorite Pokemon for the Ultra Premiere, and in general, very fastly becoming one of my favorite Pokemon just because of its performance here. You're going to see these two together are amazing. Now, Tangrowth, we don't want to take this thing out of the spotlight. It's not like it didn't do anything because Tangrowth is also going to be amazing. As you know, I do use it quite a bit. And one of the main reasons why I do like Tangrowth is because it does have Vine Whip and Rock Slide. Therefore, it's going to be able to cover its weakness as far as the fire typing is concerned. And if you go up against a Charizard, well, it's GG if you can get a Rock Slide through. You're going to be able to spam those pretty fast. And if you can call the bait correctly, you're going to be able to take that Dragon Claw. So yes, Tangrowth is absolutely a beautiful thing. So we do have Galarian Rapidash in the lead. So we do need to worry about potential Steel type leads. Specifically for this team, an Empoleon lead is not going to be the best, but you're going to see we're going to be able to make comebacks with that lead here. We're going to get into the commentary. I'm just telling you my thoughts here and just giving you, uh, you know, the rundown on this team and how I play it and how I feel here. So basically, if we do have an Empoleon lead, I've learned that it's better to just stay and go psychic and try to drop defense. We've seen Typhlosion going up against it toe to toe with the Incinerate and Blast Burn. While you're going to be taking a lot of damage with that quick move Waterfall, you're still going to be dishing out a lot of damage right back to it because it is going to be part steel. So it, I'm not going to say Typhlosion is a Napoleon counter, but we've seen it counter it before. And then, of course, Tangrowth is going to be able to cover that. Anyways, now let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. Guys, I, I'm enjoying myself. Okay, I'm having I have a big smile. I'm gonna tell you what. If I was able to stand up and do commentary through a face cam and just wave my hands everywhere and be excited, trust me, I would be screaming louder into the mic, but I'm gonna try to keep it you know a little bit calm here because I don't want to hurt your ears. Alright. <laughs> I I'm just having a blast. You know, I don't care what rank I am. You know. We're not going to go down that route because, you know, I kind of did something, to, you know, to instigate a certain situation, which, you know, not proud of it. But um, it's funny to see that uh, some people are calling me garbage or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're I can't wait for them to start using this in their video. Right. Right. We already know exactly what's going on. So we're up against the Obstagoon here. So this is a OK. Uh, if they have gunk shot, obviously, that's going to take you out in one shot. But. Here's the thing, you're going to be resisting counters so significantly because of the Psychic and the Fairy typing that you're going to be able to let those Night Slashes go through. Watch this here. So we were having a little bit of an experience, or a little bit, we, we were experienced in this specific battle. Actually, I think this is the first time. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're just experienced with the Rapid Ash in general, right? So we know what we're going to be able to take here. So we're still not using a shield, and it's putting on a lot of pressure. As you can see, we can spam like crazy with the Galarian Rapid Ash is absolutely insane. So we're going to let that go down because we did get a shield out of them. So we're just going to go ahead and go in here and start farming a little bit with the Typhlosion. What could I have in the back? Well, something that's going to be resisting fighting. That's for sure. So more than likely a fire or, or not a fire, a flying and there's the flying. So this matchup against Charizard, I actually enjoy quite a bit with Typhlosion. Charizard is kind of a squishy Pokemon. So what we're going to do is go ahead and retreat with a lot of energy on our Typhlosion and they're going to be swapping into Glade. Very nice timing to catch that not very effective rock slide. I must say that was very good. And right when they did that, I got a bit nervous that I wouldn't be winning this battle here. And oh, by the way, we're going to be looking at this first set is going to be a 5-0. Let's go. All right. So going for the Vine Whip and they have a one shield left. Looks like they're going to be holding on to it coming in with a Charizard and it looks like they're going to want to farm me down here. All right, so we do have energy on the Typhlosion. We need to remember that. We just got the last shield, so we're going to instantly swap it to our Typhlosion and go for that Blast Burn. We have two of these things, so we're going for one. Now we're just going to be exchanging charge back and forth here. 
shielding up that dragon claw because I would have taken us out. And I do believe they had like two dragon claws. I probably are ready to hit that next one, but we are able to get ours in. Let's go, folks. Let's get it into the next battle here. What are we going to be met with? We're leading with Galarian Rapidash in the lead for all these battles. We're met with a beautiful Dragonite. And I'm talking about beautiful lead. That shiny isn't so beautiful. Anyways, we're going to get off this Psychic on the Snorlax, doing some nice damage, getting a little bit more energy, and then swapping into our Typhlosion here, seeing that we don't really want to be matched up against the Dragonite with the Fire-type, even though we know that the Blast Bird is still going to be able to take out Dragonite with pretty much two... Uh, blast burns from Typhlosion, so they're going to be bringing in their Dragonite, of course, and we're going to be able to get off a Blast Burn before we do go down. If we get a shield, that's going to be absolutely amazing, and we get a shield, so they're down a shield from us, but they do have energy on that, but we're absolutely going to be going in here with the Galarian Rapidash. Now, we have to call this, is it going to be a Hurricane? So they did bait us there. That Dragon Claw is going to be resisted and do hardly any damage, but see, the Galarian Rapidash is actually kind of squishy, so if we did get hit by a Hurricane, it, it would have taken us out, so can't be um, too uh, cautious. So they're throwing another one, and I'm really getting annoyed because I just wasted two shields, and I'm really happy I'm able to hit this Psychic, though. We take them out. What do they have back there? They did not want that thing to uh, get through, but we're getting through, and the Rapidash is absolutely just dominating here. Look at this. What you want, <laughs> Glade is a very threatening opponent, almost able to get to the Body Slam, but unfortunately not. That's okay. They're going for the Leaf Blade, and we're going to go ahead and go in here with the Tangrowth, and... Vine Whip down. Thank you, Tangrowth. Much appreciated. Into the next battle here, folks. If you do enjoy these nice and spicy videos, please give it a thumbs up. And if anything, give it a thumbs up for the Moonwalking Rapidash to the left. So we're going to be met with a Gyarados. And I'm just like, please have Dragon Breath. And it does. So we're resisting that. We're going to let this Aqua Tail go through because we don't need to worry about the Dragon Breath. Let's go. You you guys, do you see this? This has been like a, a hidden gem all this time. I searched it up on YouTube and I seen there was a couple of people who had made a video about it. But uh, as far as I know, this is like, you know, not a widespread thing. Well, <laughs> now it's going to be, but go for the Aqua Tail. We're going to be shielding that up and farming a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and go for Psychic here. Let's see if we can get this big damage through. Oh, well, of course they're shielding that up. It was taking the risk, going for not very effective or going for the super effective and getting a shield, which is fine here. Shielding the Shadow Ball, correctly calling that and swapping to catch whatever they throw at us because we know they don't have sludge bomb we don't have to worry about all that damage shadow ball is still going to be doing a lot sure but yeah not going to be KOing in one shot like a uh, sludge bomb to obtain growth going for a shadow punch for some reason oh they didn't have enough energy that's why and we have a lot of energy ready to go here we're going to be going for the rock slide now we do have a blast burn ready to go so we have to really kind of play this out carefully um except for the fact that we are in a pretty good position we have enough health for them to not farm us. Uh, and it looks like, the, <laughs> yeah, they tried to catch that charge move. We're going to be going in with Typhlosion and instantly go for the Blast Burn. No playing around. Yes, that Venusaur had a bunch of energy, but hey, we're taking the win. Let's go. All right, so basically with the Tangrowth, they were going to be kind of forced to throw energy or build up to two charge moves so they would have been safe to hit the next one when my Typhlosion came in. And we're taking the 5-0. Let's go. Let's see what we have going on for the next battles here, folks. We're going to be met with a Galarian Muck. Let's go. Now, this is... Eh, we could stay in there, but I'd rather not. So, all right. Yeah, we have a Swampert on, on deck because I accidentally went in with this team. You know how you sometimes do that. You have several teams made up. Your um, main team that you're using for that evening is maybe like the third team in, so you have to swipe over. I got a little anxious or excited, and I just picked this team here. But it is including the Rapid Ash. It was still going to take a win, so let's see what we have going on here. They're going to be coming back in here with the Muck. We did take out that last Pokemon. No problem with the Swampert. We're going to let this go through, absolutely. And we are going to be rocking the Escavalier, which can take out the Alolan Muck pretty nicely with that counter as well as Drill Run. But what we're going to do here is let this Dark Pulse go through, and we're going to counter it down. Loaded Energy. They have a Honchkrow, and this was an absolutely big mistake here. Going for a Mega Horn. Honchkrow is so squishy, they're going to shield up whatever you throw at them. So that was a little bit of a mistake, wasting energy there. But it's perfectly fine. We do have the Galarian Rapidash which is going to be able to spam that Honchkrow very fast with the Body Slams. Obviously, we're not going to go for Psychic. Now, the thing about Honchkrow, it is one of the spammiest Pokemon that you could use for a hard-hitting charge move, but it is in the face of a Fairy Tail Rapidash that is rivaling its spamminess right here. Are we going to be able to get to another Body Slam first? So, yeah, you love that. I Yes, it is joined. I announced this on my Twitter. 
unfortunately it's not a shadow but it is joining the meta record crew and what crew is that consist of well shadow mobile shadow executor and now galarian rapidash there's a there's several others that are included in the meta record crew that i haven't really officially announced but we'll talk about that more in the future and as well as more merch okay so we have another obstagoon lead so we already know how this works out. We're going to go ahead and stay into this fight here. I do believe this opponent does not use a shield right away like the other opponent did. So let's see how this does play out here. We already know we're going to be able to take these no problem. I mean, we can have a sliver of health left. That damage from the counter is doing so little that or it is so resisted. It is doing so little, yeah, basically, uh, that we don't need to worry about the charge moves too much here. Getting another body slam through. and We have another body slam. Look at this spam. Isn't this insane? I think this is probably one of the spammiest body slam users in the game. So they are being very slick and swapping into that Gengar and taking us out before we can do any further damage, which, you know, was nice. We didn't really have energy, so I'm not too concerned about it. They are locked in here too. Letting that first Shadow Claw go through. We're going to be trying to build up to two Blast Burns here, looks like. And we have a mission success. I'm going to go ahead and go for the first one. They're obviously going to let this go through. And I did not want to farm down. They would have just taken us out with Shadow Claw. Uh, they're going to be coming in here with Glade, expecting a shield because this is going to hurt. Absolutely fantastic. Getting that last shield, swapping into Tangrowth, and it's time for it to shine. And now they just... <laughs> this catch was beautiful. You know, I, I, you have to give credit where credit is due. That was freaking clutch. That thing had a little bit of health left. That was the definition of catching. Such a nice one there. Anyways, uh, we're going to be able to get to a power whip, and this is still going to be enough for us to KO here, taking out the Glade and still holding on to a shield. Let's go Tang Growth into the next battle here. We're going to be met with an Empoleon, and here you go. What are we going to do here? How are we going to play out of this? Like we said... I'm pretty much going to have to just stay here, unfortunately. But look at Psychic. Look how much damage this does. That's not bad. I'm not going to complain. That's pretty good. We can go in here with Tang Growth and potentially, you know, do a lot of damage here. Not able to get to another one. We're not shielding it up. Absolutely not. Going in here with Tang Growth. Now, we still need to worry about uh, Drill Pack. That's going to be super effective. We're letting it go through because we can take those quick moves, all right? We don't need to use a shield quite yet here. Going for the Power Whip, because Rock Slide wouldn't KO in this range, unfortunately, and they would have probably got to a charge move. And they're gonna be going in with Glade. We're gonna go ahead and go Power Whip here. Now, the, the plan is to just, you know, Typhlosion with shields, you know, just destroys. But this is a Shadow Glade, all right? Uh, did I say Gardevoir? Uh, did I call Glade Gardevoir any time throughout this video? Oops, if I did. Uh, so the confusion damage, unfortunately, has already determined the outcome of this battle, and that is going to be a loss for me. How is that possible? Why? What do you mean? You got all this energy. Well, we can't make it to two Blast Burns. If we were able to, then we could win, but that confusion damage is going to take us out well before that, and, and down we go. And we have a yeah, shield left, but I decided to just let it go because they have plenty of energy built up. So good game. Uh, potentially could have shielded it up. Who knows? Anyways, into the next battle here. We're going to be met with a Charizard. So this is actually, I don't mind it. Dragon Breath? Oh, Wing Attack. Okay, so it's going to be able to charge its moves very, very ever so slightly, a little bit faster than uh, Fire Spin. All right, obviously they have Dragon Breath. That's going to be great for us. We're going to be resisting it. But this is still a position that I do not mind being in. We've already gotten a shield out of them, so that's absolutely amazing. Do we want to call their bait? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? You have no idea that feel. Well, actually, you do. <laughs> you guys know the feeling when you call correct bait. It's not very effective. You're just holding down the battle. All right, so what do we want to do? Shield this up? Yeah, even if it's a Dragon Claw, we want to come out on top because they did use a shield. And I did swap here. Galarian Rapidash has probably like 2 or 1 HP, which is a horrible thing to do with a bunch of energy because a lot of times... When you do try to, say, throw it back in, you're going to be taken out, you know, maybe before you're even able to tap on that charge move because of the quick move damage is actually hurting your Pokemon while it's still in the freaking Pokeball while you're throwing it. Pretty, yeah, well, it's not ridiculous, whatever, it's just the mechanics. Anyways, we're up against this thing. We're going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide. I don't mind this matchup because if they have Earthquake, they're going to be kind of forced to just go Body Slam. Superpower is not threatening. They're going to be going in here with uh, the... Venusaur and this is absolutely horrible because they're farming a lot so we're going to go ahead and swap instantly I mean they would have gotten a little bit more farm and we're going to just start uh, putting on the pressure we have one shield left letting this sludge bomb go through and they're going to be able to hit us with another charge move we're going to have to shield this up no matter what it is we're too low and we're taking them out we have almost two blast burns ready to go here they did try to catch something and 
They do quit out before even able to finish it off. We still had two Pokemon both low, but we're taking the win there with three balls. Let's go. <laughs> Into the next battle here, folks. Let's see what we have. It's a Venusaur. This is um okay. This is pretty decent. So as you can see, they don't like that themselves. They do have Sludge Bomb, which can be spammed pretty fast. But our Psychic can also be spammed pretty fast. They're swapping into Snorlax. And since I don't really want the Tangrowth to be matched up with it, we're going to be going in here. Just like we described for that last battle. Feel comfortable up against Snorlax with my Tangrowth here. And a lot of people have been throwing superpowers. Hey, by all means, keep doing that. Keep throwing superpowers. I love that. So they're going for a superpower here. Lowering their defense and attack. So this is going to be uh, hitting a little bit harder than usual. And now taking him out with a couple more quick moves. Almost able to get to a rock slide. And they're going back in here with the Venusaur. Starting to farm up. We've discussed this before. Having that little bit of health on the Tang Growth and having the Venusaur farm you down like this is not a good situation to be in here. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the Typhlosion and start putting on the pressure. We're going to be able to let a charge move go through. If we so choose to, we are letting that Sludge Bomb go through, and they're swapping into a Dragonite, and we're going to be going into our Galarian Rapid Ash, and we're already in a fantastic position, seeing that we have a decent amount of health on it, and we're going to be taking resisted damage from the Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw. Hurricane is going to pretty much one-shot us, so we need to be very cautious. This trainer right here, I do believe, is playing some hardcore mind games with me. Let's see how it does play out. I shield up everything. I'm getting a little nervous, so they bait me here, and we're just going to keep spamming them with the Body Slam. Let's go. Let's get it. So we're getting that last shield out of them. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Nerves of Steel. We have to hold on to a shield because the Venusaur has energy. The Venusaur will kill us. We called it. Are you kidding me? Let's go. I'm on top of the world feeling great. Taking out that thing. In comes the Venusaur and we instantly swap and it's a GG's there. All righty, into the next battle here, folks. Let's see what we have up against this expert. We're going to be met with a Shadow Machamp. Do they want to swap or stay into this fight? Looks like they want to stay in here for a minute. They may swap in a second with energy. Looks like they're going to hold on. If they don't shield, they are one brave soul. Okay, shielding it up. Trust me, I've been up against a few people who did not shield up their Shadow Machamp, calling that body slam like a champion. All right, anyways, they're going to be swapping, and we are actually retreating with a bunch of energy on our Rapidash and going in with our Typhlosion. That is going to be able to resist the charm. If they shield this up, oh, that's great. They absolutely want to preserve that Togekiss obviously and get off this ancient power or at least force us to use a shield and now we're in up against a freaking boosted Togekiss it got the boost it got the boost look at the damage look at this thing but I'm sitting in here like no Typhlosion take that sucker out it is said I'm trying master we tried that thing's way too strong we're going in here and I made an absolute horrible mistake yeah we we're able to survive it and farm down but Tangrowth would have been able to take that a lot better. So that was pretty not a good call. All right, but it's not the end of the world. Going in here with Glade, right? Oh, was that my champ? My, my, my bad. Why would they have two fighters? That'd be horrible. Uh, they're going in here with the Kingdra. So this is absolutely an amazing situation. Resisted Dragon Breath, getting off Psychic, no shields, going in with the Tangrowth, and this is GG's. It doesn't matter if this is Outrage. We're still going to be able to survive. Get to a Rock Slide and take the win with Tangrowth. While all the other Pokemon were also putting in work. Amazing battles here, right guys? This team is freaking awesome. It's so fun to use. Typhlosion, amazing. Tang growth, good coverage. And a Rapidash. I mean, it, it, it's just so amazing. Now, this is a very interesting thing here, right? Typically, we would be able to probably beat this thing if we, say, had, um, I don't know, play rough. But we don't. And I've been contemplating have putting that on it. Or even Megahorn, because it has Megahorn, Bug and Fairy going to be super effective to Dark. And that's a dang XL Umbreon, okay? So Galarian Rapidash holding, holding it down and not doing much damage. So we did get a shield out of them. And the reason why we farmed up so much was to give the illusion of a Megahorn or a Play Rough, right? So now we're looking great. We're up a shield here. And what we can do is go in here with the Typhlosion after this. Galarian Rapidash does go down, but we're going to be able to get off one more Body Slam. It said before I go down, not before I die. I'm going to put in some hurt in here. It said now we're going to go ahead and go in here with Typhlosion. Well, I shouldn't say die. Fainted. And uh, let this one go through here. Hitting us with a foul play. Okay. And we're still holding on to a shield. So it is okay for us to use a shield on our Typhlosion here. All right. So now we're even for the shields. And as much as I wanted to farm down, that, that was probably not going to be a good plan. So we're going to go ahead and take them out here. Let's see what they have in the back. They're going to be coming in here with a slow bro. So I'm giving the illusion of a solar beam. If we get a shield, oh, chef's kiss, folks. Chef's kiss. Swapping into Tangrowth, and they're going to be going into their Clefable. 
And I got a little nervous. I was like, man, that charm is really chunking away. That did a lot of damage, though. Feeling good now. Get into a rock slide here. Now, as long as we can get to a power whip, we win. We can beat the slow bro. And since we do have a shield, we're going to be able to shield this up. This is such a good situation. Going for the psychic here. So I'm assuming they have water pulse. And now we're making it to the power whip. This will KO. I got. I, I was thinking, is this actually going to KO? And it does. Because I know slow bro is a bit tanky. And this is the ultra league. But it's able to take it out. And we're moving it on to the next battle here, folks. What are we going to be met with? Another Dragon Knight. Are you kidding me? Alrighty, so what are they going to do? Do they want to stay into this fight here? Swapping is going to put them at a massive disadvantage, and they are going to be swapping into a Swamper. We're going to go ahead and go for Psychic, and the reason why we release that energy is so we can simply farm down at this point here. Now, the Rapid Ash doesn't necessarily need energy built up to go up against the Dragonite because of that massive resistance, so we're looking pretty good here. Expecting the Dragonite to come back in here. It is going to have to look out for the rock slide. We're going to let this go through because we know it is just going to be a dragon claw. Beautiful. So at this point, it is going to be extra damage. Or this is a bonus. Everything that the Tangrowth is doing is a bonus because it took out the Swampert already. That doesn't mean, oh, just because a Pokemon took out one thing doesn't mean, you know, it's over. That's all it needs to do. You know what I mean. So they're swapping and catching a freaking rock slide. Are you kidding me? And here we go. You want to see the, the countering? What did I say? Typhlosion is a uh, Empoleon counter. Now, this is a very unfortunate situation. We have two ready, but we're not able to hit it. We could have, oof, done a lot more than that. But let's see. Can the Rapid Ash pull through for us? Because this is all we have relying on it. I'm looking at the Tangrowth like, that's a, that's another shield. That's a third shield I can use, but it's going to have to be timed perfectly. But all I have to do is use all my shields right here. And this is, we don't have to worry about this. It's not going to be a Hurricane. Dragon Claw. I don't know what I guess they just wanted to do that. So we're great. All we have to do is build up enough energy to take that thing out. Let's see if we can do this, folks. Come on. All right, going for a body slam. We're going to get a shield out of them. Can we make it to a psychic? Oh, I think we will. Oh, I think we will. Oh, I think we will. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Got a little bit of lag. This thing is amazing. Period. There's a, there's nothing else to it. This thing is absolutely a boss. Period. Galarian Rapid Ash is on the charts now. Look at this thing. All right, into the next battle. We're met with a Machamp, another beautiful lead. Are they going to swap? They are into a Snorlax. We're going to go right into that Tang Growth as we've been seeing. So I think this may be the, the superpower spam after the, the, the bot. I don't think actually, never mind. Somebody just kept going superpower. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, hey, do what you got to do. All right, anyway, so going to go ahead and let this go through as well. Another body slam. And we're feeling comfortable. We're just hoping that they don't shield up at this point. We don't want them to do that. Um, and they do. So I think this is a ridiculously close one. I think I actually shield this up myself too. I'm like, okay, you want to shield? All right, you, let's see. Do you want to use two shields? Do you really want to use two shields? Because if you do, I have a Typhlosion in the back that's going to run over your team. And you want to use two shields. Hey, you 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 said it yourself. All right, so <laughs> let's go. Uh, going to go in here with Typhlosion and start building up energy. Because if shields are down, Typhlosion will just burn the town. All right? Simple as that. You like that? Yeah, let's go. Let's let's make that catchy. When shields are down, Typhlosion will burn the town. All right. Anyways, they're going to be going in here with Machamp. And we're going to be going right for that Blast Burn. We have two of them ready to go here. There's really not much that can run from a fire and in, in, uh, in the grass. Well, as soon as I say that, a Charizard enters the battle. <laughs> Okay, so we're lowering the defense and going for a body slam. We got a psychic and we got a body slam before they got off a charge move. Let's go. You know, here's the thing. It's not like they didn't have one, but we had a shield. So there was like, you know, certain gameplays that you need to do building up to two charge moves to take care of that situation. Good game. Moving it on to the next one here. I told you we had a lit video. This is the last battle. Don't forget to hit that like button for the Galarian Rapidash, for the Typhlosion, and for the good old Shaggy. Tang growth. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for Psychic here. And we are landing it, which is great. We do have to look out for Sludge Wave. That's going to hurt. But we're letting it go through. We're getting a little brave here. And we're going to go ahead and go Body Slam. So I really like them to use a shield. Beautiful. And they use a shield here. So we're going to let this go through. And we're going to farm down with Tang growth. Absolutely. More than likely, they're going to have a fire or something to counter grass in the back and we're going to have all this loaded energy and i'm praying that they didn't hit a sludge wave and they didn't it's just a hydro cannon so probably has earthquake on it going in with the venusaur and i think we're going to want to swap into typhlosion very soon maybe right after this 
Yeah, beautiful. Because they're down a shield and they have a Charizard in the back. And once we start building up all that energy with the Typhlosion, we're starting to, you know, really put on the pressure, even if it's resisted here. So let's go. Uh, building up to two Blast Burns here. We're going to get a shield out of this Charizard. They, they can't. This is their final stand. They can't let this uh, Typhlosion get through. Otherwise, that Venusaur is all done, right? So we're getting that Blast Burn through. And it's really looking fantastic here. And at this point, I'm like, you know, we're going to use a shield. <laughs> going for a Dragon Claw and getting another one through. But they're able to get to another one, building up a bunch of energy. Like we described in that last video, it's kind of that strategy. They need to build up that extra energy there. And we're going to be swapping right as they do. And the Typhlosion still alive. We call that swap. They're using their energy. Going in here with the Typhlosion. Getting off the Blast Burn. Are you guys kidding me? Let's get it. Hit that like button. And I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go. And bringing you some more Go Battle League Spice Battles. Thank you for watching. And take care.